Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our UGC Monday Night Platinum Highlander game. I'm your host, Eckstein, joined by Kip. Hey, everyone. Welcome. And uh, here we are with Deadbringer Storage versus Menace to Society, already on midpoint. So, Eckstein, why don't you take it away? We see the Medic for Blue taking that right hand side, both medics on Medic Gun, finding some early support as they get Sweater taken out with that heavy. So the, the battle of the rollout certainly going to DRS's way. Axiomatic is down. So a bit of a sniper advantage for red team. But uh, some air shots fending off that red soldier. That is panic. And uh, Mustard Overlord is going to find him, take him out. But the spy behind him, Noko, gets the stab on the demo man. Pyro is going to try and chase him off. Looks like blue. Mm, red is has some players who can come back in here. Looks like they will contest this capture. And actually going to be able to take it. K Blair runs off. Keeps that uber charge, but in the end, there was not enough blue players left to be able to uh, capture the point and contest the reinforcements from red team. Yeah, so a, a risky move right there, but they knew he was, or uh, Hard Blue knew he was going to get those respawns. So charged with the engineer and sniper, but uh, definitely had those uh, that support coming in, so was able to take that uh, easily. So we do have 100% uber uh, for both teams ready to go. Looks like red is going to push out uh, garage or big door right here. Uh, definitely got to watch out for Sniper, but uh, we see Axiomatic positioned uh, a little far back, but actually he is going to push forward and put some pressure on uh, Garage right there. Does get Fathom, that's nice. Um, as you called it, definitely a nice rotation. Blue is powering through here, though, with a kill on Sweater. Noko in great position, though, to maybe get a stab. The decloak is out. Oh! Wow, Flamingo very. with that air blast. Very close. Very, very close running that... Uh, Never mind, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Blue, that is a Dead Ringer Storage, are going to be able to push back here and off of that failed push on two through the garage. Are going to be able to capitalize. Oh! K Blair gets sniped out. The air shot was trying to get lined up by Panic. Uh, didn't happen, though, as Marissa uh, getting some uh, uh, headshots on uh, Mustard Overlord as well. Yeah, and that's one thing we didn't talk about. Marissa uh, is definitely, I think, the sniper to contend with in this match. Actually, Manic, a great sniper, but Marissa is just one of this, those top snipers that you, mm. you talk about in uh, UGC Platinum. And a map like Gullywash could definitely oh. uh, play in a factor like we saw. Yeah, Pretzel gets uh, disconnected from his medic, was trying to hold lobby, and that could be pretty uh, disastrous for this first round. The scout gets on the point. It's going to take lights off to uh, come in and uh, stand on it. We also have Axiomatic sniping down low. Blue just kind of getting in position on the lobby. Um, so not going to be able to capitalize on that heavy pickoff. And so we see, yeah, Axiomatic uh, did go down right now. Blue pushing or uh, just holding upper lobby right now as they have about 40% uh, uber disadvantage. So they're going to have to uh, wait that out. Hard, hard blue hard very blue far up. forward, yeah. Yeah, they have this uh, uber advantage and they know it. So they're going to push forward, try to pressure upper lobby right here and uh, get a pop or maybe a fail and actually the uber is popped right there they took a lot of his demo spam and they are going to engage in upper lobby right now uh wow uh, mustard overlord going down right there sorry but just a lot of action happening and uh, red going to be able to push blue out cabler did get out alive with about 100 percent we'll see if they decide to counter push immediately but they really don't have these numbers as a nice push right there from drs uh yeah i mean mts, MTS. sorry sorry yeah. Yeah, that was very well executed. Hard Blue uh, pushing his players in the lobby, uh, Demo Man heavy, getting that positioning, and then the uh, Uber Scout was the first one in, so sent him out just to make sure that he could uh, soak up any damage that was thrown his way. But look at this! All of a sudden, the counter push comes through Garage, some big frags. Um, MTS lost like three clutch players really early, and now Hard Blue up top still has about half health. It has to rotate back to the health pack real quick. Pretzel. Also, still nicely healed. Blue should just get the capture here, though, to get the forward spawns. They're taking a little too long to do it. Red might be able to contest with Hard Blue getting the Uber charge, and Pretzel uh, picks up another frag. Mm, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Heavy being uh, chased down right there, but it looks like he will get a lot alive. Uh, one of those frags coming down from for DRS was Cabler, who got headshot by Marissa right there. So, again, showing that uh, presence of the sniper, especially here mm. on second. Yeah, second's got good sight lines. Last has, or sorry, middle has good sight lines. Last defensively, you can cover a couple key spots. Not too great of a spot, um, but uh, Gully Wash definitely uh, among the sixes maps um, heavily favors uh, Sniper. 
Yeah, and so uh, remember for those uh, who are new to UGC and in Highlander in general, we will go to four caps or 30 minutes for our halftime, and the first two five round wins will uh, take the victory. So we're about five minutes in right now, and have yet to see a uh, cap right here. So, but we have a lot of back and forth action. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like a stalemate um, action. Uh, we do have Uber popped for DRS trying to hunt down uh, poor Heavy for MTS. He does go down, but the red Uber comes out immediately. But without that Heavy, we'll see if they'll be able to take mid back. Our blue, fantastic switching around. Um, blue still though has the players on the point. Should be able to, yeah, finish the capture. That's actually clutch because now that there's three, uh, only three up for uh, MTS. Fathom has to hustle back, get scattergun down by Paul Smenis. And uh, Blue's gonna double up the captures, take second as well. Everybody about to respawn though for MTS. Not gonna have time to set up uh, anything more than that minigun. Blue's gonna try to push uh, super fast here. They have 80%. Could still be a little bit more aggressive with this even though they are a bit off from the Uber charge. They're gonna rotate to Riverside though. Um, and in the end, looks like they're gonna take their time, their time with this Uber. Here it comes, though. <laughs> you got the uh, the horn was blown as well. Uber charge in. Players getting bounced around. Blue mini sentry is up, but that is going to get shut down. Wow, really nice defense out of MTS right there. We also had Heavy going uh, Water, which is underneath the point, trying to come up behind, but it was taken out right there, so big threat. They're trying to get some sort of uh, squeeze and push, but just the defense uh, is uh, remarkable right there from MTS, so they will push out onto second right now. Pretty easily capture that point, and uh, nice job pushing out of last, which can be really, really difficult on 5CP, especially with Highlander when you have a lot of players, but getting that near wipe uh, really set the tone. We do have Kritzkrieg out for blue team, and I believe that Marissa saw the particles uh, from the heel beam, so probably uh, called that out. Misses a headshot on the demo man, unfortunately. And then now that she's been spotted out, is going to rotate around. A lot of MTS players on this garage door flank side. Looks like they're getting ready to push as well. Yeah, blue having to fall back here. Yeah, but the crit is charging awfully fast, about 100% right now, so we'll see if they pop it immediately. Looks like uh, Mustard Overlord is up and they're positioned. Oh, the crits does come off right there. Um, coming through Choke, we'll see if they can get anything. Uh, does get 1k with that. Uh, heavy going down, Pretzel down, as well as Sweater, the demo man. So a pretty good push right there. Keeping their medic alive, uh, obviously important after crits. But yeah. they weren't able to track down Harbly right there. Yeah, Harbly did go down um, earlier, but uh, because of the, the amount of time there was able to build a full charge, which would be very helpful here. Um, the Kritzkrieg and Highlander is a little bit less so than um, Sixes in terms of getting kills. Just the damage is important enough. So even though they only had one kill, they were able to utilize that to get the middle point. Now they're getting chased down, though. Flamingo's down, so you can't reflect any of the spam back. Scout gets thrown up into a weird area. Um, and a back cap uh, going on as well. Oh, but Axiomatic taking down Harbly right there. Axiomatic is just in choke, having his way with anyone who steps onto the point. Uh, they really need to uh, pressure him, put him down, but Marissa is down. So without that counter sniping, he's uh, yeah, having a little bit of fun right here. Looks like MTS was able to capture the point. Both meds go down, um, but Harbly's going to be back up with a bit of an uber advantage. We'll see if Kabler decides to stay on that crits, which, I don't know, effective, do you think? Um, It's tough. Looks like he does go minigun as well. Um... The first usage was good. I think in a situation like this, if you're back on your second point and you switch to crits, you're going to get it at the same time as their Uber. They're probably going to use their Uber right away, anticipating you having an Uber, and then you're going to crits creep right into an Uber. So um, holding second point, a defensive crit, uh, not a usual call there. Um, Marissa gets the snipe on Axiomatic. Four down for blue versus two down on red. Red taking control of the flank, coming through into lobby a little bit as well. Taking a lot of damage here, though, on some of their players. Sweater, for example, 19 health. Is uh, way back, but is disconnected from his heavy and his medic. Really needs to get to hard blue. We'll get crit heals once he does. There you go. Um, and uh, with uh, Rainy up top, maybe able to get some sort of stab here. Waited a little too long, though. Jolson's running around. Should go for the stab on the scout. Always a fun challenge. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Looks like uh, Red is uh, going lobby right there, stuck there as there's a lot of uh, 
soldier spam coming out. The buff banner was called for uh, DRS, and uh, Tick's able to get some spam in there, but doesn't matter. Red is going to pop the Uber, come in from beneath, and get pressure onto the point with the Pyro, who can, oh, but oh, some huge nice. stickies coming in there uh, from Demo Man. Oh, Mustard Overlord, but doesn't matter. Yeah, Sweater on the point, gets the capture. That was a good Uber by um, Harblue, also aided by Marissa sniping down Flamingo. When you don't have the pyro uh, to air blast um, players away or to deal with the Uber, I mean, that's really all you have that can directly affect an Uber charge. And so that being sniped down meant that MTS got really good penetration uh, with the Uber charge, got to be able to get really far in there. And it was Sweater sneaking around getting the capture. And if just looking at scores right now, um... Snipers are one and two in uh, scores right there. So doing some major work. Marissa, though, going down, uh, t being pressured right there from Tix. But Tix also out of the picture as Fathom brings him down with a flare. We'll see as uh, Blue looking pretty dominant, getting some time on the point and this uh, significant Uber advantage. Uh, but Kabler taking a lot of damage right now and pops his Uber. Uh, gives a little to the spy, so that was very nice of him. But <laughs> don't go trying to go for uh, backstab. She's not able to do so. Yeah, K Blair definitely was able to charge that uh, Uber up quite a bit faster. Part of the reason for that was Harblu was tucked away in the enemy's ramp room for a lot of that middle. Came through that elbow room, uh, through the deck, and then just went down to somewhere they weren't expecting to look for him. So, I mean, that was really helpful for him to stay alive, uh, stay healthy, keep the heavy and the demo healthy, uh, and then enter the fight a little bit later, avoid some of the chaos of the initial uh, middle fight. So, nice rollout by them. Red yeah. pushing in from Garage with that Uber, but there's really not a whole lot of resistance on Blue. They wait until oh. that Uber fades off. Huge bomb in from Tex, taken out Harbly right there. He does go down, but uh, really, really nice pressure on the Medic. And uh, that's going to enable Blue to keep a hold of second right here. Yeah, Mustard Overlord playing pretty aggressive right now, but does have uh, full health and a buff. Uh, players behind, but uh, Davy C is going to be able to take care of that. And uh, Blue pushing in here. Red just now getting some of those respawns, but uh, had quite a few players go down. We do have uh, Scout on the point trying to defend for MTS, but don't think Squid can do it, especially now that the Uber has come off Mother Hat as a fedora that is a uh, mustard overlord. Decides not to push. Probably a good idea as there's a lot of stickies around Choke. And uh, Red, we'll see if MTS can get up a uh, defense, but it looks pretty abandoned right here at second. Yeah, they, they were on flank side a little bit. Um, it was a good decision for Blue to make sure that they had a bunch of other players come up behind him, get that capture quickly. Um, but Blue is going to end up rotating. They were all flank side. Now they're a little bit more on choke side. They do have an uber disadvantage here uh, by about 25%. Uh, um, we'll see how in tune they are with things if they just uh, hang back and uh, try to slow, make sure that uh, MTS can't possibly get through. Got a really early Uber. Looks like they might go here though. Criticola is out, so we got the Criticola Uber combo. Squitter, what you got? He's bum rushing the medic, but no. The Uber fades. Davy C gets him. Uber is up for K Blair. Gonna push through with Mustard Overlord. What can he get done though? Yeah, Fathom taken out from behind. Not many players left for red. Challenging on this middle point. An engineer and a soldier. Gun's gonna get taken out though. Engineer taken out in the ramp room. Down to four left for red. Got him all in sight as Harblu goes down. Oh, Mustard Overlord. Oh, no. Couldn't hit the pipe juggle. That would have been pretty sweet. But, uh, ooh, Jolson Squid comes in. Oh, 2K so far. Can he get the Medic as well? Yes. Or, sorry, the Spy. Excuse me. But Squid, a huge play right there. Come, runs out and gets a 3K. Stops the capture. I don't think it's headshot by Axiomatic. Oh, man. That's a... Uh... That's got to hurt right there after such a, a nice defense, but uh, Blue does push in. DRS, yeah, going a little big right there. It looks like Red is going to push out immediately to contest this. Yeah, we're basically through a quarter of our time here tonight, and we've only seen one round be actually finished and captured. But, you know, this is why I do honestly love Highlander 5 CP maps. There's been no lack of action here and no lack of back and forth, so been a very exciting game even though the teams have had difficulties necessarily establishing that territory and pushing in the last that critical play the uber critical i don't know what do you what do you think about that i think that was great i mean um it, it definitely kind of scattered drs k blair had to respond by just running to the hills 
Um, and I, I think it's a great use of items, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't super successful and you know in the end they maybe kind of lost that exchange, but uh, <laughs> uh, Great stuff. Jolson says interesting wall hack your soldier has uh, Well, maybe a little a little early for calling out wall hacks in this match a great play from Tix right there, who was somehow behind enemy lines with that black box and the buff banner charge. Blew that as soon as his uh, combo came in for the push onto mid. Was able to squeeze out uh, Mustard Overlord right there. I'm sorry, not Mustard Overlord, uh, Sweater. As Blue was able to defend uh, mid right there and then now pushing back onto second. Marissa taking out Axiomatic though, so I got to watch out for that sniper, but it looks like she's positioned uh, away. So it looks like they will be able to... Oh. <laughs> yeah, interesting exchanges. Blue basically just being forced back by mere numbers and uh, positioning. And K player is going to have the uh, a little bit earlier here than Har Blue. And Red does back up. They, they realized that there was a lot of DRS uh, by, the, uh, by the choke. So they decided to just rotate back more towards the uh, lobby doors. Nadiris had a little bit of room advantage right there, but uh, didn't take advantage of it, just still holding at choke. Tix did go down, so they may be waiting for that respawn, but right now, Demo is not with the combo. Axiomatic going down there, too, as a... Uh, yeah, Squid just squid. bomb rushed him uh, through the choke. Nobody was there to support him. Nobody was actually watching the choke. Davy C wins the heavy, heavy fight. It's going to be pretty helpful, but we'll see if they round the corner now. Still taking their time, and now they're losing players on the side as... Faker's down. <coughs> no, sorry, actually, that's uh, MTS is losing a lot of players. Um, but Sweater does get the kill on K Blair, finishing that up. So uh, Hard Blue's Uber does uh, get results, and uh, players are respawning now. So Tix uh, with the big jump in, not able to uh, finish off Hard Blue, but Hard Blue down to 17 health and escapes into the lobby. So again, some nice defense coming out of. Uh MTS are going to charge out of lobby right now as Mercy again taking down Axiomatic. Uh, but I think the, the sniper battle has been pretty even, so... Um, well, actually, no, uh, Marissa doing a lot more work, in terms of points at least. Uh, but between the two of them, it's been pretty back and forth. Uh, Red does push out of Garage, though, pushing Black D... Pushing back DRS, going to run into a little trouble in Garage with Tix patrolling. But it looks like uh, they will be able to take some space oh. here as they do have this Uber. Uh, Uber and then the scout again. Axiomatic taking down a Marissa that helps out. Or it doesn't help out in this push, but uh, don't really need them, looks like. Yeah, Sweater with his uh, 3k certainly helps out, though. Uh, clears oh. out the lobby. But on the other hand, yeah. Another 3k from the blue demo man. Faker is going to be the survivor here, though. 81 health. Uh, Marissa's still up. Oh, no. Thrown into the air, though, and gunned down by Paul Smenis. So, uh, second point is where MTS is going to stop. Can't get the capture there. Dead Ringer Storage throwing players forward, uh, which you got to do. you got to respond quickly here. And with a Soldier and the Scout, at times three is doing quick work. They see the combo coming out through uh, the uh, garage door, the flank. And they do finish the capture, though, before they go down, which will be very important towards uh, respawn timers and where players are actually coming back from. Oh man, Squid just got headshot right there by Axiomatic. Faker coming in, get a 2k on Axiomatic and Arrhenia right there. So Assassin class is out of this picture as DRS having a hard time staying alive here at mid. <laughs> MTS doing a good job picking them off. Uh, Tix now taking down Faker, but it does look like MTS will be able to push in here. Hard Blue staying alive with about 60% Uber advantage. Meanwhile, K Blair is just not respawning. Yeah, that was a really nice jump over the top uh, by Faker. Uh, getting a couple kills and putting the pressure. Now the heavy trying to GRU out, but gets shotgun down. By the engineer, so light off doing some work, which it, it's hard for NGs to play 5CP because you just put down teleporters and then destroy them because your team has captured a different point and the spawns move, or you wrangle a mini sentry, but uh, sometimes it's fun just to pull out that shotgun and go slow scout. But we do have this push out from MTS. Doing a good job pushing back blue. Not getting too many frags. Axiomatic did go down mm -hmm. as well as Mustard Overlord, which enables this push. And yeah, so they will be able to take it. Was trying to snipe out top. Actually, I believe was focusing on that heavy. But uh, then the Uber was flashed over and Marissa has just stepped in too. So uh, good protection of the heavy, both by Harblow and Marissa. <coughs> 
Excuse me. Kay Blair did survive all of that, got out uh, in time, so we will have this Uber. Doesn't look like a whole lot set up here on last. Both these engines have been using that uh, gunslinger, so no no level threes, which I'm disappointed about, but in it comes the backstab. No go taking out uh, taking out a light off who was there on the point. Got some time on the point, but not able to finish it as uh, most of red has gone down. Yeah, blue is very far forward with Cable Air uh, Ubering through the uh, upper area. And now they're going to be able to capture middle quite comfortably. So good kind of split defense in a way uh, with people shutting down lobby and uh, defending the point itself while uh, K. Blair and company pushed through the upper location, uh, took some players out. But Harbaloo does have the uh, uber charge very shortly here. Uh, so they should be able to just still maintain a good amount of uh, position and territory here. And we do have the Uber Pop again, sending the scout in, soldier jumping as well, able to push blue back. No frags coming out except Rainy was taken down by Light Off uh, with Engineer Pick again. Um, nice defense out of Faker, that is uh, Panic. But in comes Blue Uber uh, in retaliation immediately. Mustard Overlord is going to go down. Uh, blue player is scattering red team everywhere, and MTS is going to have to fall back and get out of here. Yeah, that was nice uh, defense by DRS. Uh, oh, Noko spotted the cloaking, but lands on Davy C's head and gets the head stab. Uh, Lol's thrown around, but maybe that was about something else. And uh, Scout on middle point, uh, going to try to deny Faker as Faker jumps in here. Needs to finish the, the capture, but Jolson is squid coming in too. Jolson's going to keep charging, though, with 125 health. Could maybe just finish off this capture if he gets on it. But uh, with the uh, blue mini sentry around, it's going to have some difficulty here. Jumping around like a madman. And then finally, Flamingo flames him down. Sweater is out here trying to work it. Only three up for uh, DRS. So a lot of players went down on the fringe of the battle here. Yeah, so a great opportunity for MTS to push Noko Revolver down uh, axiomatic. And she's been doing great work with that Revolver. Just shout out to that real quick. Uh, we do have her trying to take the point. Again, trying with a little sneaky spy cap. Not able to get in there as the defense is a little more well established right here for DRS. Hard loot looks like he's going down a lower lobby, but took a lot of spam right there. Rainy with a good stab on Sugoi Boy uh, will certainly uh, hamper any push out efforts from uh, MTS. Lost uh, a few players, some of them coming back from uh, respawns. And uh, Red definitely fairly well set up in lobby and uh, river area. Noko's coming back in. I think uh, her infiltration might have been spotted uh, by Rainy <laughs> crossing path. Rainy also gets another uh, capture on Sugoi Boy. Sugo oh. Boy. I'm not quite sure what the uh, point of that second one was by Noko. I thought maybe uh, her first attempt to capture the point was a suicide to switch lo loadouts. Um, because uh, it didn't seem like it was really a high percentage play, but I went for it again. Maybe they just know they're in a waiting pattern and wanted to scout things out even more so. Here comes uh, Squid with that Criticola Uber once again, and uh, the, the Pyro Demo Man following that up. Soldiers around on Riverside as well. Jolson survived that, and three up for DRS, but they're uh, holding steady with uh, Davy C and a Mini Sentry on the point. Sigafu gets credit for two. And the long-range uh, heavy spam uh, fight, fighting against Sugoi Boy, uh, but also Faker taken down. Um, yeah, who was trying to come up from behind. There's his corpse, if you would. And uh, with the spawns, uh, Blue's starting to move out here. But now, maybe this is the time for Noko's back cap to work. I'll be watching last right here, but it looks like Sigafu is on the point, and uh, he's got some good shotty aim as well as that yeah. mini sentry. So he does take down MTS, or um, takes down Nogo right there, but can't blame a girl for trying. Yeah, definitely. I mean, might as well a spy in that scenario, uh, but very well handled by Sigafu. Really good consistent pressure here from DRS as they're trying to flip this all the way to mid. Maybe even take Spire as well. You are going to get a lot of spawns, so... Uh, Red Team MTS will be able to easily defend second uh, because they just got so many players back. But Blue does want to keep the momentum going. Axiomatic taken down, and I believe uh, Heavy might have taken a decent amount of damage from that Sticky Trap as well. So five minutes left in this half. DRS are going to have to uh, try to get a capture here to, to make this happen. Try to even this up before they go into halftime. Uber's out on both sides. 
Long range minigun, uh, wrangled across. And that just stuffs the uh, offensive Uber uh, by red team. Now uh, blue team's showing the offense. The medic gets separated though. And K Blair taken out by Marissa. A lot of players down for blue team. They're gonna have to pull back. And uh, red is pretty set up with Mustard Overlord getting spammed down. Just trying to back out of there, but the flank is on mm -hmm. here as Noko and uh, Faker. Uh, good positioning. Yeah, some nice work right there. And now we're going to have a push out of a Garage. It looks like not a whole lot here to uh, to contend with on mid. Do have a mini sentry, but uh, Sigafu going to be pressured out. We do, however, have a blue combo that is uh, the medic and the soldier and the sniper coming out from their garage. Tix goes down, Axiomatic goes down, Kabler is on his own and really, really hurt, but does manage to get back to lobby. Uh, has to have the rest of his team come with them as they're just taking way too much spam. And uh, second right there. Oh, wait. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, really. Go, uh, back to you, Axiomatic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we see K Blair. Uh, try, well, actually, lost my POV of K Blair because K Blair did go down. Noko gets a revolver kill as well on Axiomatic, so a lot of frags going all over the place here. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just really confused about why Red had just capped mid but still had presence on second but weren't pushing in. But uh, yeah, all makes sense again. Don't worry, I'm, uh, I'm totally, totally coherent tonight. <laughs> Because Blue's pushing down lower lobby. I mean, Red is pushing down lower lobby. Um, MTS, remember they are in the lead 1 0, and with about 3 minutes and 30 seconds left, uh, definitely going to see a stiff defense put up here from DRS. Yeah, as we were talking uh, on the other side, DRS certainly wanted to get a round win uh, when they were uh, up in the face of uh, MTS. Uh, but now the shoes on the other foot, MTS pushing here. Hard Blue doesn't have Uber yet, <coughs> walking down low at 90%. Oh, oh no! Oh man, and the spies there, Hard Blue now all alone with 97%. You can see because we have the spectator plug in, there's nobody near him whatsoever. But uh, can Tix get the jump around here? No. 33 health. Didn't want to pull a Hard Blue and kill himself uh, in that same exact spot right there. That was what did it to Hard Blue. Uh, but now he's found players to heal. Hard Blue has that Uber charge. They get on here for the counter. And uh, yeah, Flamingo. Uh, ends up uh, blowing himself up there. Oh, yeah, and Squid and gets on top of K Blair, takes him down. Great pressure there, even though Squid did die. That was fantastic work. Yeah, losing Mustard Overlord in the process there as well. It's going to be very hard for <laughs> MTS. Sorry, Fathom just hit a nasty flare shot. Oh, boy. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for DRS, is what I was trying to say. Um, push out of last right here, especially when there's a back cap going on. Is that no-go? It was. So putting a good amount of time right there means someone's going to have to at least keep an eye and that'll split up the defense a little bit. Well, I mean, Blue is not going to be able to push out of this anyway and they're probably just going to turtle here for the last two minutes. Yeah, it's that's an understandable tactical decision. Uh, you got to play to win and uh, with two minutes left, that's Really tough to go uh, flip over and uh, go all the way to that last point. We did see it in a top 10 a while back, 47 seconds in a 6v6 game. I think it was like a minute 30 total. I don't, I don't know. It was amazing. They really pushed through, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen in Highlander. Right now, DRS has got to keep their fingers crossed, but no! MTS captures the point with some DRS players still alive. So a little unfortunate, but fantastic positioning there um, by, DR, or by MTS. Um, keep the pressure on and get that capture. Those take us to 2-0 with a minute five seconds left in this half, which uh, pretty much means we aren't going to see a meaningful round here. It's not close enough that uh, you can just uh, joke around, so we will... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is is close enough that they can uh, switch the uh, or reset the server, I guess, on us, since it's not technically a map change. Uh, but there we go. Um, definitely still going to be uh, a 2 0 as we uh, switch over to Foundry. <laughs> uh, if I recall correctly, we have uh, two halves. Yeah, that was my, my understanding UGC. of the uh, UGC League rules. Um, but if we are incorrect and uh, they only played a 30 minutes, I would actually uh, highly applaud them for that because I, I think that 30 minutes is a uh, slightly more appropriate time. 
Um, but, uh, you know, UGC, they only uh, do play once a week. So, you know, if you're playing two 30-minute matches, uh, one one hour-long matches, it's just about the same thing. And it looks like uh, we actually, yeah, the map change has switched over to Goldie Wash. So I don't 